everybody. So I wanted to come on and do a little update um, about our adoption, where we're at, and future adoptions. So we, Hudson's bouncing in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud and you can hear me. We finally were able to go and finalize Hudson's adoption. Um, being that we got him, you know, kind of as a surprise, we weren't expecting to get him uh, when we did, we hadn't completed our home study, and um, there was some other stuff that we had to do before we could go to court to finalize it. So we um, had to wait. It was about four months that we had him because we went on June 9th to finalize um, the finalization hearing, and it really. The attorney joked. He's like, you know, this is anticlimactic for everything you've been through this whole journey. Because literally you go and you are in the judge's chambers and you get sworn in, you answer a couple questions, judge signs the paper, and that's it. <laughs> and you're done. Like 10 minutes, 15 maybe. So, um, but we did do that. So everything is final. All the paperwork has been filed for that. And we are just waiting. We will get his birth certificate in the mail that will have our names on it. And then we will um, take that over with the adoption order over to the Social Security office and then we'll get a Social Security card for him. Um, so as far as for him, everything is done. He is ours. There are no questions. You know, for somebody that doesn't, that's never been through adoption or, you know, that's thinking about adoption, just kind of a quick overview. Um, because with his... We did do a private adoption. I think most of this is the same, you know, even if it was through an agency. But we um, got him on February 2nd, and the birth parents both signed over their rights on February 3rd. And here in Georgia, there's a 10-day relinquishment, um, which each state is different. Some have no relinquishment period. Some have 24, 40 hours. Um, some may even have more than 10 days. But here in Georgia, it's 10 days. And so... Um, February 13th was the 10th day, and they did not um, do, you know, they did not try to get him back during that time, obviously, because we still have him. So, um, once that was done, we had to submit our home study, which we had to finish our home study, um, do the home study, do all the background checks, all of that that comes with it, um, get all of that submitted over to the judge, and then here in our county, they actually require more um, as far as background checks than just what the home study required. So we had to go do a further background check and everything, so that added on a little bit of time. Um, so we'll know now for the future something that we'll have to have done um, before, so that hopefully it won't take quite as long. Because it only ended up taking about four months, uh, which isn't that bad, but it's one of those things that you want it done and over and not waiting, you know, nothing like that. Um, so now that everything is done with that, and Chase and I, my husband Chase, had talked um, about, you know, the future and when we might want to adopt again. Um, and we had decided that, you know, after he is about a year to a year and a half, we would maybe start putting feelers out there because, you know, it takes time to get up matched with somebody. And then once you're matched with somebody, you know, they could be just a couple months into their pregnancy. So we want our we wanted our kids close in age. So we decided that, you know, at least after the first of the year, we would seriously start thinking and praying about, you know, telling people we were wanting to adopt again, um, just to kind of see where that would go. Because my brother and I are 18 months apart. He's 18 months older than I am. Um, and my husband has a younger sister who's four years younger than him. And so we both decided, you know, I like how close my brother, I, my brother and I are in age. And we both wanted that for our kids. But adoption is one of those things that you really have no control over it. You know, unlike when you can just get pregnant and you say, okay, I want my kids this far apart. I'm going to have another one now. Um, adoption, you have no control. It's all up to someone else's mercy. And if someone else wants to place their child with you, which is a huge, huge thing. It does not, you know, just come lightly. It's not, you know, something easy, an easy decision for anybody. So, uh, with that decided, you know, we were just moving along as planned. And a couple weeks ago, I got a message on Facebook from a family friend. And um, she is a court reporter. But I 
don't think this person she knows from the court. I think she knows her from outside um, of that. But she had, in back when our adoption first fell through, had um, given us a possible situation that ended up not working out anyways. But she asked, you know, if we would be interested in a situation in about seven or eight months. And so, you know, I was like, okay, because at that point, you know, I was like, Hudson will be about 14 months old, so that's a little closer than we were expecting, but I'd at least like to know details. So, um, didn't hear anything, didn't hear anything, and then this past week, we're actually on vacation, and I got a message from her that um, she had some details. Well, I guess it was last week. I Last week, I sent her a message, and I said, you know, did you get any more details just so we can be praying about it and kind of preparing ourselves um, if it were to happen? And at that point, she said that she wasn't sure, but she thought the girl was either 13 or 14 weeks along. And um, that was really about all the information she had. And so we're like, okay, it's a little sooner um, than that. So that'll put them, you know, maybe Hudson at just a year, you know, just over a year. So, we're like, okay, you know, just kept thinking on it. And then, I got a message from her last week when we were on vacation um, that she had talked to the girl. Turns out she's 17 and a half weeks. So, that puts her due date at December 5th. Hudson's birthday is December 16th. So, that would be two babies, you know, one not even a year old. So, you know, she asked if we were still interested. She was meeting with the girl the next day uh, to kind of tell her because um, this family friend has also adopted. Her child was adopted. And so she was meeting with her to answer some questions, kind of help her make an adoption plan, and just, you know, kind of advise her in that situation. So Chase and I talked about it. We prayed about it. And, you know, we decided, okay, you know, it doesn't hurt. You know, God put this person in our lives then go ahead and tell her about us, you know, because she may not like us, she may not want to meet us, may not be interested at all. Uh, she doesn't know the gender yet, she'll find out in August what the gender is, and so um, I was like, okay, you know, you go ahead and tell her about us, and just, you know, we'll see what her response is. So then I get a message, or we get a phone call from Lisa, our family friend, um, that next day after she had had lunch with her, and she said, you know, she kind of told her about us, our situation with losing the twins and then losing the triplets and how we had an adoption that fell through and then the birth mom changed her mind seven weeks later. And, you know, kind of just told her our story. And um, the girl was really interested, really wants to meet us. Um, she does know that we have a six-month-old. And that to her, that was a positive. She wanted the babies to be close in age. You know, she liked that we were younger and, you know, could run after two kids. I said, yeah, it's going to take energy running after, you know, two little babies. But um, she did seem really interested in meeting us. And so we were supposed to go have dinner with her sometime this week. Um, so, I don't, you know, it's just such a whirlwind. It's all just happened. It wasn't planned. Um, it kind of just fell into our laps. Um... And so we're still, you know, hesitant. We're not getting our hopes up. We're not, we're really staying guarded, especially after going through what we went through with the first adoption. And now I know some signs, some things, questions to ask, things to look for. Um, and I think just overall, we're going to stay more guarded um, until it happens, being that, you know, with our first adoption, if you haven't followed our journey, our first adoption, uh, we had been with the birth parents, you know, been talking in communications with them from September. Um, early October, they said they wanted us to adopt the baby. He was born December 16th, and without any notice to us, she changed her mind. Um, she obviously had changed her mind sometime before that, but did not tell us, and she took the baby home from the hospital. We, of course, were devastated. Uh, you know, had the nursery set up, had our hospital bags packed, we had waited up all night, waiting to go to the hospital when he was born and then seven you know just the day before seven weeks later 
we got a text and she changed her mind. And so we went and picked him up and it was, it's been a true miracle. And, um, I love her, you know, no hard feelings to her. I know it was a hard decision for her to make, but it was also hard for us to go through after losing five babies of our own to have an adoption that we thought for sure was going to happen just for it to fall through, you know, at the last minute and then for it to end up to happening. Such a roller coaster, and I just would prefer not to have to go through that again. Um, I know that I really have no control over that, but just try to be careful and kind of know more what to look for as far as that goes. Um, and now I feel like I've been rambling for a long time. So I will give you an update, uh, hopefully sometime later this week, after we have met with the birth mom and um, know kind of her feelings. Because obviously we've never met. She hasn't seen pictures. She hasn't seen um, any information, just what our friend told her. So we will see where it goes from there. Tentatively, we're meeting Tuesday. So um, hopefully I'll have an update on Wednesday and maybe later, depending on when we get together for sure. Hopefully you've been able to hear me with Hudson singing and talking in the background. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. And if not, I will talk to you guys later when I have another update. Bye.